up and welcome back to the latest episode of this Jesus Garcia my player career we're into episode number 29 here and I'm sorry about such a delay between videos I'm intending to get them up more often but it's just not happening at the moment but hopefully now that we got some time off over the Christmas period we'll get lots in as you can see guys coming up from today's episodes we've got a game against Real Sociedad and then a game against the mighty Real Madrid on the 29th of September as you can see we are currently sitting second in the table tied top with them which is looking good four games played each and 10 points on the table as well as Sociedad down as well so both games we're playing today is against two top teams currently tied with us on 10 points and we're just here with Zaza at the moment like we were in the uh, last episode and we're heading to the car shop for you guys and you guys picked that we wanted a supercar now there are some choices in here of supercars and which ones we want there's only three choices for this episode guys to so choose wisely they will come as the stock color that they are now and then we will get to choose a new color or something else like later on as you can see guys the first one on the list is the bmw the i8 it looks pretty awesome it looks pretty slick and cool and uh, that's not too much money and you can see from the poll how much they're all going to cost so if you want to use this one guys then hit up the comments below and we'll get this one in for the next episode and we'll go and buy it this one looks pretty nice as you can see from the next one guys it's the mclaren if you want to see us buying the McLaren, then hit up the comments as number two. The BMW was number one. So if you want to see us getting the um, McLaren here, hit number two on the polls. And as for the last one to choose from, guys, we've got a pretty cool one here. We've got a Corvette. So if you want to see us uh, buying this Corvette here, then hit up the poll and choose a number three. And you can see from the prices how much they're going to cost. There's not too much difference between prices. So it doesn't really matter which one we get. It's completely up to you guys and your style and your choice of which one we want. But guys, that is the three choices for now a BMW, a McLaren or a Corvette so let me know in the comments below let me know in the poll which one you want to see and also hit up uh, the comments of which color you want to see them as because they're going to come as stock colors as they are now and then I'll put up a poll for the next episode maybe and we can choose a specific color or yeah so you guys can choose an actual color that you want so comment the most likely colors and we'll put them into the poll for the next episode for you guys to choose from as you can see here guys we're just arriving at the Mistala Stadium where we're going to be having our home game here against a Real Sociedad it's going to be a big game we're currently top of the squad ranking form at the moment with a uh, number one with 8.8 .8 player form at the moment just behind us there's a few other players like uh, Simon Zaza in third place. As you can see, we're on 79 overall. A striker, 21 years old, worth 21 and a half million. Played two games in La Liga Santander this season. Scored four goals, so looking really good at the moment. Roberto Firmino, who is Madrid's top striker. Look at that, six goals for him. I'm just in behind him with four, and he's doing really well. Ronaldo is top of the assist sheet with two. We'll be playing against them later on in this episode. That's going to be a huge game, so hopefully we can play well and get a win then. But it is against the mighty Madrid away from home, and maybe something else will be happening there as well when we're heading over to Madrid but guys for today we're going to be focusing on this game we've got at home it's this evening it's Valencia match day five in the season against Real Sociedad can we get something out of this game today we've got a good chance here as you can see Madrid the top with a better goal difference than anyone else we're in second place Sociedad are in fourth place all with 10 points on the table so looking really good at the moment Barcelona are nowhere near the top at the moment Nito is going to be playing in goal today we've got Jorge Garay Adona Florenzi at the back as well for Valencia which is looking pretty strong Nani Solia, Tropi, and uh, Rodrigo in the midfield, which is looking good. And Jesus with Stindl starting this one up front. No Zaza in this game, which he was not too happy about. He didn't know he wasn't starting till now, but that's okay. Real Sociedad starting with Rudy in goal. They've got a very decent back line with the likes of Navas and Martinez at centre back there. They've also got uh, some pretty good midfielders. It's been this 4 3 3 formation, and up front they have got Tazon, William Jose, and Carlos Vela. So guys, as you can see, Carlos Vela looking pretty uh, pretty hard player to watch. Three goals in the last three matches, as well as two goals for Jesus Garcia, as you can see over on the left there, in the last two matches. In the last match, I think it was. So we're playing pretty well at the moment, guys. Carlos Vela's playing pretty well. But also see that are playing well, and so are Valencia and Real Madrid, who we've got later on in this episode. But as you can see, guys, getting this game kicked off and underway here today is Valencia against Real Sociedad. Can we get a win on this one? This is going to be a tricky fixture, but hopefully we can get something out of this and push on up the table with another the three points to 13 points here we come now with him away forward Florenzi with a great ball here to Jesus Garcia tries to get it in the box there but the ball gets cleared away by the defense and it looks like we're going to be cleaning this one up 21 minutes in now another chance coming forward for Valencia can we do this now Stindl laying it perfectly through to Jesus Garcia who tries to turn inside then getting taken out for a penalty kick and guys 22 minutes into this game we've gone and got ourselves a penalty kick here 
Can we capitalize on this chance? Can we get the goal? Can we take the lead here? It's going to be one of the players stepping up for this one. Who is it? There's Stindel goes and scores the goal to make it 1-0 in this game. 22 minutes played. He gets started over Zaza and he goes and gets the penalty goal. He goes and scores it after Jesus gets taken out for the penalty. And the number 14 Stindel there goes and takes a very nice 1-0 lead for Valencia guys in this game from the penalty spot. Very nicely placed that one completely got the goalkeeper then in the bottom right hand corner perfect placement there look at that hit the side netting and goes in and what a nice goal that was for Valencia 1-0 up in this game 23 minutes played and a very nice way to start this game off looking good at the moment Valencia 1-0 up against Real Sociedad at home as well this evening the crowd are here in force everybody is enjoying this fixture so far and guys look at this great opportunity coming forward now with a chance of our own for Jesus Garcia 38 minutes played we've got a chance to go 2-0 up can we do it here Jesus Garcia and he goes and puts it in the back of the net 40 goals so far overall in my career guys look at that Jesus Garcia scores once again 39 minutes played in this game and we've gone and scored I think our fifth goal of the season and we've only played about three this is our third game played the crowd are absolutely ecstatic with the new signing Jesus Garcia 20 million spent and five goals already paying off very nicely indeed what a way to get it guys look at that Jesus Garcia 39th minute goal five goals in La Liga Santander and a very very nice way to score it as well can we get any more in this game before half time there's five minutes left to go in this half and then we're going to be heading into the half time break 8.6 rating for Jesus Garcia looking really good and a ball coming forward in the 45th minute hits a nanny who heads it down there a chance for Jesus Garcia with the shot and it hits the crossbar what an effort from that little volley then and it wasn't able to hit the back of the net unfortunately guys we're going to be heading into the half time break here at 2-0 up to Valencia and we're doing really well in this game and it's nice to see you getting on the goal sheet and uh, nice to see someone else scoring as well as you can see the manager very happy with my passing has been laser guided great job scoring my fifth goal of the season remarkable move was an impressive fancy goal which is awesome to see as well so hopefully we can add some more to that in this game can we do it here we got uh, a whole half to go we're currently 2-0 up can we get some more out of this game before we head off to Real Madrid later on in this episode it's going to be a big game as you can see a ball coming in there Stindel with the shot hits the post and almost goes 3-0 up in this game guys we're absolutely dominant at the moment the left back Jorg plays it through nicely to Jesus Garcia cuts inside with a great chance to go 3-0 up and he tries to get it short there but we can't quite get the ball in the back of the net Stindel unlucky with that one a 1-2 with Jesus Garcia playing really well with him up front maybe he's a better striking partner than Zaza a nice little effort there and it's just gone wide hopefully Zaza doesn't think too much into this not being played and me and him playing really well together maybe something will pop up about that a bit later on Hit up the comments if that is something you want to see go. Ball comes in there to Jesus Garcia. What a chance. What a miss from Jesus. Not able to put that one in the back of the net. And a ball coming to the back post there. Been cleared out of play by the goalkeeper and Karai. And uh, 72nd minute in, guys. And another chance coming forward for Rodrigo there to Jesus Garcia. Pushing into the space. Now we've got a chance to cut inside. We've done it. We've cut inside. We've got a fake shot. Another chance there. What a little turn there from Jesus. Tries to lay it short there. But the ball gets taken out. And a chance to have a shot here. But no, we get the ball tackled off us and cleared away. 87 minutes into this game. Coming forward forward now down the left wing they've got another chance to do this can we do it put it into the box there for Valencia and it's not made it in there but Rodrigo lays it to Jesus Garcia what a shot there what a save from the goalkeeper Rudy and he goes and stops it from making it 3-0 in this game 90 minutes played the ball comes into the box here last chance of the game and Zaza's on the pitch now can he do anything to make an impact in this game we've got the ball here can we get the ball here defeat we've got a chance at the back post and Garay has gone and missed an absolute sitter with that diving header there 90 minutes played and he's gone and missed there goes the full-time whistle in this game guys we've finished this one at 2-0 we've got a 2-0 victory three points on the table heading out of this game and as you can see from my final match report 9.0 match rating great job scoring five goals and laser guided passes for the season so we're doing really well and things are coming together really nicely here at Valencia after signing for our new team in La Liga Santander getting paid a bit more money to help us live a better life and uh, also beating our former team as well and scoring against them in the live stream that you guys saw as you can see guys though we're back here a couple of days later, uh, a couple of days later and there was some interesting news which I'm about to show you guys we just got our first uh, our next payment through from Valencia onto the uh, table so as you can see we have 172 grand at the moment and then as it came through we just going just below uh, 200k but guys as we turn on the TV to have a look at what was on TV the headlining news was this guys it was pretty scary seeing a virus strikes in New York City that's pretty crazy guys over in New York City there is a virus outbreak everything is in lockdown over there at the moment and nothing is happening over in New York City which is pretty scary so as you can see guys a virus outbreak in New York 
city was uh, it's a pretty big deal. If you want to see more of that, then go and head over to the Diego Ruiz My Soldier Career because that's all about that. And there's other things also happening there as well. If you want to see more from that, guys, the outbreak in New York of the virus, and then go check that out. There's plenty more of that to come. As you can see, guys, we're going to be heading into our next game against Real Madrid very soon. So we're going to get some sleep and wake up a few days later where we are going to be going straight into our game. As you can see here, arriving back at the Mestalla Stadium once again for our game against Real Madrid today, 29th of September. It's going to be a big one here. Can we get a decent result here against Real Madrid? They're currently sitting top. We're currently sitting top alongside them. We're behind them on goal difference. Five games played, 13 points apiece on that table. And it's looking pretty crazy at the moment. Uh, as you can see, Jorg, the left back, the new signing, is loving his football. Maybe we should get in uh, having a chat with him and hang out with him a bit more. He's been playing really well, and so have I as well up front. As you can see, Roberto Firmino is currently sitting top of the goal scoring list with uh, six. I'm sitting just behind him with five. So we've got a good chance to overlap him in this game if we can get a win here. If we don't, he will probably end up being the man that scores the goals against us. He's playing well for Real Madrid, as you can see so far this season. But right now, we're going to be hopping on the team bus here for Valencia, heading to our big, big game here away from home at the Santiago Bernabeu against Real Madrid. It's going to be a pretty big fixture, this one. So hopefully we can get the three points on the table. It's pretty even at the top, so this will be an interesting one to decide who's playing better this season and who deserves that top place in La Liga at Santander. Guys, as you can see, leaving the stadium now, leaving Valencia, heading across the uh, across the country over to Madrid, where we're going to be playing against them now. So it's going to be an interesting game to see how we do here today. As you can see, Ronaldo there, warming up, getting ready for this game. He's looking pretty menacing at the moment. He's getting ready for this game. He's getting ready to play, and so is uh, um, Padre for us as well. So, guys, this game is about to get underway here. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be an interesting one. And as you can hear from the music, guys, it's going to be epic. Real Madrid against Valencia here at the Bernabeu this evening. And we've got a huge fixture to come in this game. Can anything happen from this one? It's going to be an interesting one to see who comes on top, who gets the win, and who gets the goals as well. They're currently sitting on 12, points, uh, 12 goal difference, sorry, and we're currently sitting on 8th. So we are, we are on the same points, but we're behind them. We're about four goals as well. So as you can see, top scoring team, they've got 14 goals scored total this season. Barcelona have scored 12. We're down there on 10 in fourth place for the goal scoring. But as for conceding, they've conceded more than we have. So it's going to be interesting to see what we do. The man, the Zinedine Zidane manager there, someone I'm looking to impress kind of to get. I want one day to get to this Real Madrid squad. That'll be awesome. That'll be my goal in life. The likes of the back, Marcelo Ramos, Van Carvajal. They've got Kroos, Casemiro and Modric in the midfield. And they've also got a very good front line three of Ronaldo, Firmino and Bale here, guys. So it's going to be a really interesting game to see how they do. Those three up front are looking really menacing. They've signed a very good striker. As you can see from our lineup, we've got Nito in goal. We've got Jorge Garay, Palestina and Florenzi as well at the back. So they're looking pretty good. Nani, Pajaro, Solia and Cancelio in the midfield. And we've also got Jesus or with Stindl once again, who got back into the lineup up front here for the game against Real Madrid, guys. One of the biggest games this season out of the four that we're probably going to have, the likes of Barcelona twice, Real Madrid twice, as well as our cup games as well, which will be happening sometime soon. But guys, getting this game underway now, Real Madrid against Valencia. We are away from home. We're at the Santiago Bernabeu. We've got a big game ahead of us. Can we put on the display here that we need to get the three points? Here we come forward. Eight minutes in. A chance down the left foot wing now. Stindl on the ball. Great chance to go 1-0 up. Can he do it there? No, an easy save from Navas has denied that one from going into the back of the net. Unlucky for us, we weren't able to put it in. And here comes Firmino on the chance now for Real Madrid. He takes a shot there. Nito with a good save at the near post. And we've denied him this time. 12 minutes into this game, a great chance. Opening up the space down at the right wing here. Jesus Garcia pushes into the open spaces. Can we put this one in the box here? We've got a chance to go 1-0 up here. Cuts inside there, but tries to get the shot away. And the defenders get the blocks in nicely. And we're trying to get a second chance out of this, but I don't think it's going to happen. And here comes the next one now. Jesus Garcia on the ball, looking to get forward. Now lays it off nicely there to Stindl, who lays it off certainly to Solio hits the post and we hit the crossbar. And how have we not gone 1-0 up after that chance? Stindl and Solia there, both with amazing chances, both hitting the woodwork and the ball goes out. And there goes the halftime whistle in this game so far, guys. Can't believe we haven't gone 1-0 up. We're playing really well and the halftime break is showing us currently sitting at... Uh, at 
nil nil on the scores which is pretty annoying but it's just the way it's been so far in this game unluckily for us and here we come forward with the uh, first kicks of the second half in this game and here we come with Bale on the ball for Real Madrid opening up the space a chance here for him and shot at the near post Nito with another good save has denied that one once again to keep his score at nil nil but guys pushing forward now down the right wing we've got a chance here coming Jesus going central Cancelio there laying it nicely to him we've got a chance Jesus cuts inside now can we get this one inside the area having a shot there and Navas makes a great save and the ball gets cleared out of play and gone out nicely there 73 minutes in can't believe we're not 1-0 but great chance at the back post here can we get this one in no the ball has been kicked over the bar once again 74 minutes in 83 minutes played now Ronaldo there to Marcelo with a cross back into the box and tries to get a header on it but it gets cleared out of play there and it looks like it's going to come to nothing Ronaldo lays it back in there to Carver Howe but the ball gets cleared away Marcelo on the ball now 19 minutes played Asensio looking to get a shot away on the edge of the area can he do it here turning on the edge takes a long shot there but Nito makes a good save and it looks like this game might all be over here at nil nil and it looks like it is. We've got one last chance coming for the defense. So there goes the full-time whistle. In this game, we're going to be heading out of this one at nil-nil on the score. One point each on the table. A pretty even game, but we both come out with a pretty good result as well. Point apiece, and that's this game over here. And we're going to be heading home for the end of this episode, and we're going to be leaving Madrid behind once again. But as we do, guys, just as we're leaving the stadium, we're just walking out to get back on the away bus here at the Bernabeu. And we're making our way here just outside the stadium of the Bernabeu, as you can see, guys. And we're just walking through, about to head back onto the team bus, which is just waiting for us to go right outside the stadium. And we come across Ronaldo, who's waiting here for us, just to have a quick chat. I'm not sure what he wants to talk about, so we're going to have a uh, quick chat with him now to see what he wants to say. Jesus, you played well out there today. The result was unlucky for both our teams. Yeah, it was a good match. You played well, too. I see your Nike sponsor is going well and wanted to ask you the question one more time. Do you want to train with me and have to, me to teach you how to become the best in the world? Here's my number. Have a think about it. Get back to me soon. I hope you make the right decision. Alright guys, as you can see there, Ronaldo wanting us to make a decision whether or not Friday for the last time, the last chance we get, whether we play with him or not, or we train with him or not, before we get kind of too big in the world. As you can see guys, coming up in the next episode, make sure you hit up the poll for that as well. That's going to be another poll, it's going to be two in this episode, it's going to be pretty fun. We've got Sporting coming up, and then we've got Atletico coming up in the next episode. And as you can see, still tied top, is six uh, uh, games played, 14 points apiece for both Valencia and Real Madrid, Balas Bar Barcelona right in behind us on 13 points as well guys so that's been it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed this one we're going to be getting back into the swing of things with uh, lots of series going on and lots of cool things happening some epic stuff going to happen in the um, my manager career so stay tuned for that because that's going to be crazy as well as santi as well so guys make sure you stay tuned for all these series there's some cool ones coming out with diego ruiz as well straight after this one so make sure you're here make sure you're staying tuned and make sure you're giving us a like and shares and subscribes and i'll see you guys all in the next episode peace out